It is Thursday, June 30th in the MLB, and I'm Austin from Calling Our Shot. And I'm Logan from Calling Our Shot. And we are back to end the month of June. We got our favorite run line, we got our favorite player prop, and then no one first inning coming your guys' way. It's been a great June, honestly. I've, I've had a lot of fun here on, on this channel. So why not go down real quick, hit that subscribe button if you already aren't subbed. We really appreciate it. Austin and I uh, couldn't do it without you guys. We wake up early to do these videos just for you guys in the community. Yeah, we're going to end this month off with a bang, and hopefully we can get our third straight winning day because yesterday we had our second one. It was a pretty good day. We had a Blue Jays. Oh, man, Springer, we appreciate you hitting a home run in the bottom of the fifth. We needed that badly. Tyone just did not have his A game yesterday, but the Rays and Brewers, no one for sending cashes for the second straight day. Another winning day. Hopefully you guys help, help. We helped you guys make some money yesterday. Our parlay of the day did not hit. Shout out Nick Vespi for giving up six earned runs and only one innings pitch, uh, one and a third. Uh, he, he was terrible. If you know, you know. But either way, if you want to, we appreciate all our all-stars out there that continue to support the channel. If you want to become an all-star, hit that join button on the channel. And I, like I said yesterday, if you want to go check out our weekly podcast, we certainly would appreciate it. We posted yesterday, so I'll link it at the top of the description and in the pinned comment section. It was a pretty good one. We enjoyed doing it we talked about all the nfl teams as we're just getting that itch for the nfl season to be back but logan you've been on a roll what do you got for the people today yeah we're going we're going back to a, a run line that i also think has good value right going to the mariners versus athletics and i'm taking the mariners minus one and a half run line plus 102 odds on on barstool as austin's showing right here now this one's changing fast and i i really would place this one probably sooner rather than later because just even when I woke up, it's kind of shifted value already in, in the Mariners' favor. Like, a lot of people are hopping onto this one. This is a, a heavy public play. But I've been watching the trends. The public's been eating. They've been eating fine. So today, we are going to eat just, just like them, right? So who do we got uh, pitching for the A's today? We've got Adrian Martinez, right? Martinez is making a second start of the season versus A's. Whenever I see, you know, pitchers making their second start of the season, not really in the flow of the season, I'm like, yeah, I want that guy, right? It's it, the, the A's are in and just searching for anything they can find. Martinez did pitch well in his only start, right? Five and a third innings pitch, zero in runs uh, versus the Tigers in his only start. But you know what? Seattle should and can be able to hit him, right? They're coming off a game where they scored nine versus Baltimore. And I needed to see that because the Seattle offense needs to find consistency. 18th in OPS versus righties, 21st in batting average at home. The, the reason I don't pick Seattle is because they leave a, a lot of runners on base, right? They um, – <laughs> my, my screen – crashed one one sec but seattle is last and runners left on base but over the last three games that's improved to seventh best i needed the mariners offense to find consistency and it looks like they might have been they might be finding their their stride a little bit because i can't pick them when they're when they're just you know near the 20s and a lot of offensive categories but to cover this i think they they're you know they really should be able to hit adrian martinez and i like i like betting against pitchers that only have one start to their name on the season they, they might be due to, to give up a bad one, right? Seattle also lost the series back in May versus Oakland, but swept them in the June series, right, in in Oakland. And they covered two out of the three uh, of those games. that They covered this run line. So I think they can build off that. They, they've seen them recently, and they should be able to hit them. And they've got Logan Gilbert pitching for them today. I love Logan Gilbert. Great first name, too. 2.27 uh, home ERA. On the year, any ERA under three is is amazing at this point of the season. And Logan Logan Gilbert is a strikeout specialist. Oakland, 28th in OPS on the road, 27th in batting average. You saw what the Oakland A's did yesterday. I, I was texting Austin on the side. I was like, this is abusive. They keep putting these guys with under 200 batting averages. Like they had a guy batting 167 in the cleanup spot. That's just not, not a key to success. I will happily fade a team like that and take my chances, right? You know, and then if we, if we talk about Oakland's bullpen, right, Oakland 26th in bullpen ERA, Seattle 15th in bullpen ERA. If this does come down to the bullpens, which fingers crossed, I'm hoping it's not. I hope Logan Gilbert uh, gets enough run support that we can, you know, have a no sweat, but it's not going to be like that, though, I promise. Uh, I hope that Oakland's bullpen can give up some runs in the later half of the game, and I think they will. That's why I'm going to go ahead and, and ride the Mariners in this one at home. I love them to win and cover today. But Austin, what do you got for a player prop today? So, yes, we are back with player props, and I won't lie to you guys. We've been struggling on the on the player prop department. So, brought back a COS Hall of Famer, DeJounte Murray, wearing a shirt. Shout out to him again. Just got traded to the Atlanta Hawks. Free agency starting later tonight, like 6 p.m. So, it's going to be a crazy day in the NBA towards the end of the night. But today, I'm going to the Cincinnati Reds for Chicago Cubs game. I'm taking Brandon Jury of the Cincinnati Reds, taking his over one and a half bases. Now, I do want to say, I would consider waiting to place this bet. Um, I'm going to put this as minus 110, likely what I'll track it to. But we do know fans. Handle is one of those books that 
normally doesn't give the best lines on these base props. And so if you want to block it in early, sure, go with it or wait for other books to release a line because obviously almost every book will have a line for this base prop. But why do we like Drury? I mean, he's batting in June. He's been batting very hot. 347 batting average, 34 hits in 24 games, 13 of those being extra base hits. And if he only wants to get one hit, we need a guy with some power. This is the guy capable of hitting just a double, triple, home run. He can do it all. Now, we look, Drury hit this over one and a half bases in 19 of 24 games so far in June. That includes 9 of 11 on the road. Now, we do say that on the road because... It's going to lead to more plate appearances. Now, today, Drury and the Reds are on the road in Wrigley Field. We know Wrigley Field, one of those ballparks that, you know, it's going to be a hot night tonight. The wind will likely be flying, and we could see balls just flying out of the ballpark. And that's what we'd love to see out of Drury. We would love a first inning casher. He's going to bat second in the Reds lineup. And at Lifetime versus Kyle Hendricks, who will be starting for the Cubs, two for five, one of those being a double. So pretty good experience. We look at Hendricks. This is the most up-and-down pitcher that you might find in the MLB. He had a terrific start versus St. Louis in his last start. But look, that's what Hendricks does. He only pitches well against the St. Louis Cardinals. I'd be curious to see his splits against every other team besides the Cardinals. He always just goes into St. Louis and always pitches super well. He has not been that good. Now, at, exactly at home, actually allowing 20 extra base hits in eight games started so far in Chicago. We also look at it. He's batting 269, 328, and 294 versus Hendricks' top three pitches. Drury, that is. And like I said, he's going to bat in the two slot. So assuming Hendricks is a bit, pitch an absolute gem, we should see him get up to close to five plate appearances considering he's at the top of their lineup. Look, it's going to be a hot and sunny day tonight in Chicago. Like I said, I hope to see some baseballs flying out of the ballpark over under at nine and a half. I think the books are expecting that. So player prop of the day, Brandon Drury of the Cincinnati Reds, over one and a half bases. Now, I do want to give you guys a couple leans because – I swear, I tell Logan my leans, and they always cash, and the play that I give on the video is always jinx. So the plays I do other likes, if you want to look at them, Yankees-Astros under four and a half in the first five. I think that's a little bit juiced, but I do like that one. Kind of on Logan's note, Logan Gilbert to record a win, I think is pretty solid, plus 145 on DraftKings. Then Jose Ramirez in an early start for the Guardians, over one and a half bases. I think those are all pretty decent plays. But my only play that I'll be playing exactly will be Brandon Jury over one and a half bases as my first official and only player prop of the day. But Logan... You know what time it is, baby. Let's grab those Nerfy Nation flags and fly them. We've been having a great run so far in June. We're going to recap all of our June picks tomorrow. So definitely tune into to Friday's video. We'll be talking exactly how Nerfy Nation did in June. But I can let you know it's going to be a positive month regardless of today. But today we're going Braves and Phillies. Minus 102 on FanDuel. And look. This one, we're going for good value to end the month out. We see, you know, Sharper Books has us at plus 101, just on the same. I mean, DraftKings, what is this, minus 120? Well, you know, these two books are minus one. I mean, what can we? what can you do about that? But, look, we like this one for a little bit of value. There's not a lot of good nerfies on the slate, but we think this one's solid. Now, on the mound for the Phillies, Aaron Nola. 14 and 1 on no run first innings this year. Look, about as good as you can get. Now, we do look at the Braves batters. They do have decent splits versus Nola, but he's still been very good versus them. And 14 and 1 on no run first innings. We got to take a stab at it. We look at the Braves, 24th in first inning runs. They got all those, that firepower at the top of their lineup. Still hasn't been leading to a lot of runs. And we look, I think Nola can get us those first three outs. What about the next guy, Logan? Yeah, it's it's Ian Anderson scheduled to start, right? Ten and four on no run first innings this year. Ian Anderson, that's pretty solid, right? At this this many starts, I'll take ten and four. Philadelphia, twenty first in first inning runs. I have no problem uh, sort of fading their top half of the lineup, especially without uh, Bryce Harper. We got Reese Hoskins, zero for nine versus Anderson. Nick Castellanos, one for six versus Anderson. I don't. I, if we can survive a Kyle Schwarber bomb because it's June. Fingers crossed. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be pretty okay in this one. These teams did Nerfy yesterday versus Ranger Suarez. They can Ranger, Nerfy with Ranger Suarez on the mound. I, I think they can Nerfy with these two pitchers. The over-unders said, said that eight, eight and a half range. They're definitely not expecting a, you know, a, a trillion runs in this game. I think these two pitchers stand a really good chance. Of, guys, it's a really limited Nerfy slate. I'm not going to lie to you. This one's a little bit of a reach. But it's a reach that I think with these two pitchers, we can get we can get out of some jams. And I, I think we're going to end June on a good note. I mean, like we said, the Nerfy Nation is kind of a, a coin flip bet. So the fact that we know we're getting even better, you know, coin flip odds are normally like minus 105. Yeah. So minus 102, can't complain with that. Obviously, we got to survive, survive the Schwarber bomb. But we'll see exactly how it goes. Just as a, a, a token for the people listening all the way to the end of the video, I'll give you our parlay of the day like we usually do. It's going to be Mariners minus one and a half. Sorry, Logan's double dipping. But when you only have, I don't know, eight to ten games, kind of have no choice to double dip on your favorite plays. And then I picked the Pirates plus 0 0.5 in the first five innings. Betting on the Pirates. It's going to be a good Thursday. That's what I have to say. But those are our three picks of the day. We appreciate you guys as always for tuning in. We'll see you guys again Friday morning. We'll recap all the month of June as well.
well in that video. Check out our podcast popping up on the screen. We appreciate you guys as always. It's been Austin and Logan. We'll catch you guys in the next one.